Happy Saturday, everyone. Go Clemson. Uh, I'm still here. We have not been evacuated, but I've had a front row seat to all the firefighting and it's been amazing. You know, right out my backyard, it was slowly creeping toward us. And and when you think of how far that fire came from and traveled two nights ago, it, it would have been it would have been pretty scary. But uh, I'm not as worried about that direction, however, because you got to come through a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of houses, a whole lot of stuff to get to us. But the other side of my house, like right right behind you, there's nothing but sticks and stuff. And I'm at the top of a hill. So if a fire comes that way, I'm out of here. Uh, before I even hear an evacuation notice. But I think it slowed down to a crawl. I kept getting up last night looking at it and it, it hasn't come that far from where it was early last night. And this morning, uh, it's still dark, but you can see the it's more glowing em embers. You don't see flames. So when it's glowing embers, it, they pretty much have it, has it stopped. But it's really pretty out there, really pretty. Um, now back to business. Yesterday's title was a little confusing. I put big instead of blowout. The, the title was a big win over the Jets will go a long way in proving Garrett's worth. And it should have been a blowout win over the Jets to be go because a lot of people took a big as maybe a field goal at the end of the game to win or a struggle in the fourth quarter and we overcome. That's still kind of pathetic in my opinion. That's slightly better than a loss. But this game needs to be over in the third for us to give Garrett any kind of uh, uh, credit in proving his worth. Um, but, but, but I see a lot of cocky and overconfident Cowboy fans this week calling the Jets trash, they're horrible, blah, 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 just, just, I mean, just too much. And for me personally, the only thing that comes out bad for me for the Jets is the coach. I don't, I don't think much about him, Gase. I have no idea how he got that job after floundering for the Jets. I said, I mean, the Dolphins floundering Dolphins. But um, yeah, he did virtually nothing in Miami. But as far as this team, I want you, you, you cocky, overconfident Cowboy fans to put on your imagination hats for just a second. Just, just go get your imagination hats, put them on and think. What would our record be if we lost Dak Prescott in the preseason and then lost Cooper Rush early in the first game of the season. And so we had to turn to Mike White. In my opinion, it would be slightly possible that we win one, one football game. And that's only because we've played a couple of winless teams with Miami and, 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 and Washington. But it's also po possible that we wouldn't have won a game at all either, even with our week schedule. Well, Mike White is more experienced and better than Luke Falk. Then you have the defense of the Jets. That's still, I think they're, somebody said, I don't take me for this because somebody said they're ranked seventh, but they're, they're good defense. But they still are a high-ranking defense, a top 10 defense in the league with absolutely no help from their offense whatsoever. Offense couldn't even score. So they have been playing better. They have been playing, I'm not going to say they're better than our defense, but they've been playing better than our defense. They are probably are better than our defense. I'm just not going to say it. Uh, their running back, Le'Veon Bell, is virtually on par with our running back, Ezekiel Elliott, as far as talent comes. And our offensive line, if we don't have Tyron and Lyle Collins, I don't think our offensive line is that much better than theirs. And add the fact that they play tougher teams than we've beaten, the, the Bills, the Browns, the Patriots, and the Eagles, it makes sense that they're 0-4 with that, set, that set up. So I went on, um, I went to the videos on the Jet sites, and Tony Romo was there, even saying this, guy, this game might be a lot tougher than people think. And they're super excited to get the quarterback back. And just like we would have to en endure three and four uh, weeks of Mike White if we had Mike White at quarterback, you know for a fact that we would think we're a better team when Dak comes back. And the same with them. They know they're a different team with, uh, with Sam Darnold coming back. So there's a lot of excitement there in, 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 New, in New Jersey that we have to overcome. So I see no reason to be cocky or overconfident. Um, to, uh, to add a little bit more, to add a little bit more, Greg Williams is their defensive coach. Greg Williams is the architect of the Saints defense. So he runs the same scheme as what's being run in New York, New Orleans. And he knows exactly what they did to stop Ezekiel Elliott. So I'm taking, I'm taking this game as serious as I would like this team to take it. And if we do blow them out 
at their home with all this excitement, with that quarterback who was playing some very good football at the end of last year, it means the Garrett had this team focused and ready and their heads in the right spot for a battle this week, and they followed through. It would mean a lot to me. Now, if we get by the skin of our teeth, it don't mean nothing. <laughs> Period. So because of uh, this, even with all this being said about the Jets, about Donald, whatever, we still should win. We still should win. Period. That's why a slight win means nothing. As far as injuries, um, we have Lyle and Tyron and Randall Cobb as questionable, so we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see what, they, what comes with them. But uh, as far as the, the Jets, they have some big ones out. They have C.J. Mosley, who's probably going to be out, and that's huge for us. And then they're also losing a, a left, left guard, Kelechi Osamali. I think I said his name right. We all know who that is if you play Madden. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'll be here. I'll be ready for a good game. And I, I really hope I really hope we knock their blocks off and have a smooth second second half. If we don't, um, we're going to still be in the same headspace when it comes to Jason Garrett. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow at the game. Peace out.